Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back, as always, welcome back. Today, I am here with a very exciting and special unboxing of a sneak peek that has been sent over by Diamond Art Club for me to get to share with all of you. You guys, they have done it again. Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club. We have another mystery kit. Yay. Okay. So before I get any further into this, I want to give you guys a heads up on what will and will not be spoiled for you in this unboxing and do just a really, really brief uh, summary of mystery kit etiquette. So first things first, um, what will be shown to you in this video, you will not hear the name of this particular kit. That is going to remain a, wait for it, mystery. <laughs> um, you will see parts of the rendering. I will be sure to let you know before we get to that part so that if you want to look away and have absolutely nothing spoiled for you, you can do so. Um, the artist has already been revealed to you. That is something that Diamond Art Club wants you to know. We'll chat more about that in just a moment, but the artist is Josephine Wall. Holy cow, yes! Okay, so um, you're also going to see the different colors of the diamonds in this kit. You're gonna hear all the stats of this kit, but I'm gonna do my very, very, very best to keep as much about this kit a mystery as possible. Now, I need your help to do the same. Mystery kit etiquette. First things first, in the comments of this video, please, 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 please do not post the name of the image if you're able to discover what it is or if you come back after having purchased this kit um, and, and know what the name is. Let's try to keep the mystery alive as much as we possibly can. So please don't post things about, like I said, the name of the kit or like really specific elements of the kit and stuff like that in the comments. Please also, if you are posting your progress on Instagram or chatting about this in, for example, the Diamond Art Club Facebook group, you guys don't post the name of this image or the actual original artwork itself. I have the feeling the Diamond Art Club is going to be pretty heavily moderating the VIP group because when they did the first round of mystery kits, this is just something that they really they really wanted to try to do going forward. So mystery kit etiquette is just do your part <laughs> to keep everything as spoiler free as possible. I believe that there is still a Facebook group that is dedicated just to the Diamond Art Club mystery kits. I will take a look. I'm pretty sure that I'm in it. Um, and that's the place to go if you want to see the images that people are working on and follow along with people's progress and share your own. So I will be working on this kit right away. Um, it's actually not quite a week before the release date of this kit. Uh, so I will, once this kit officially has released, you will start seeing some progress updates from me over on my Instagram, but they are always going to be behind a spoiler slide first. Okay. So now that we've covered all of that. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get into it. You may see me pause from time to time because there are a couple other spots in this kit that we may see the name of this piece and I want to make sure that I'm keeping that hidden from you all. So you guys, I am so thrilled that Diamond Art Club has decided to do more mystery kits. Um, the first two mystery kits that they did, they released at the beginning of uh, December and uh, Rachel Ray and Miss Coffee unboxed those. I know Miss Coffee completed hers and Rachel is working on hers. So if you'd like to take a look at those, I'll do my best to link to their unboxings below in the description. And that's just a fun way to uh, see what it looks like to actually work on one of these pieces. Hold on, I'm going to cover up the title here now that we've got the, the tape off. Um, so this kit, like I said, this is from Josephine Wall square drill diamond painting kit and it has to be square and not round and you'll see why uh, once we get into this but 70 by 89 centimeters it's a good size kit now just because this is a mystery kit doesn't mean that this kit is going to be missing any of the other elements that we've come to know and expect from diamond art club so there's how to's and whatnot on the back and inside we should still have the regular toolkit and everything else um let's get into it 
How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a really wonderful day so far. I already had a little slip up where we accidentally just saw the name. So let me hide and shift this out of the way. This is gonna be fun to edit. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Uh, let me talk to you while I'm doing this. So I hope that you're doing really well. To give you the details about this kit and when it releases and whatnot, um, this will be releasing tomorrow. As long as this video goes up as planned on Tuesday, this kit will be releasing on Wednesday, February 9th at 9 a.m. That's just the flat release time, <laughs> I believe, for everyone. Uh, that's Pacific time as well. So... Um, be sure to sign up for their email notifications and whatnot. Okay, so we have a basic toolkit. This is one of Diamond Art Club's older runs of toolkits, which has everything you're going to need to do your diamond painting, including a tray, a bunch of baggies, a pen and a squishy. Here, I'll just show you through here. A pen and a squishy, a couple of plates of pink heart wax, and a pair of pointy tweezers. I, I know that a lot of you are probably wondering, what about the new toolkits? Uh, just as a reminder that it's a gradual transition over to those. Some of the kits that you order now are going to come with the new toolkit and some will come with the one like this one. Okay, so I covered it up. <laughs> Here is the logbook sticker. I'm like paranoid, can you see through it? <laughs> the logbook sticker. Um, I love it, it's just like mystery. So again, this is from the artist Josephine Wall and it's a mystery square drill diamond painting kit, 70 by 89 centimeters. So I'm gonna put this in my paper log book. Some people will put it on the sides of the box to help sort through their stash. Um, and yeah, so anyway, we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna be super cautious. Again, um, you may see portions of the canvas rendering, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it rendering side down so you guys don't see it until we're ready, okay? <laughs> But let's go ahead and get into it. This is heavy because 70 by, basically 70 by 90. It's a bigger one, right? Okay. So let me pull out. Okay. Let me check everything first. There's our colors. <gasps> Love it. Okay. Who knew all of washi tape's uses? <laughs> so here is our sticker sheet. Uh, the title of the piece is under this washi tape. It's a secret. Remember, it's a secret. <laughs> Josephine Wall, a spot to write your start date and end date. It's a mystery. Diamond shape square, size 70 by 89 centimeters. And over here, 63 colors. And take a look, all of these symbols are black and white. So even when we go to look at the canvas here in a bit, um, it's the image is not going to be revealed by the colors, the colors that we normally see as the background of the symbols on your more run of the mill diamond painting kits. Um, this, this can be a little hard on your eyes <laughs> when you're used to diamond painting and being able to like look for symbols based on like the background color of them and whatnot, it can be tricky to go from being used to diamond painting that way to, okay, literally everything is black and white, <laughs> literally. So what I'm most likely going to do is put these in order, like put all of the numbers together, like one, two, three, four, I don't know why number eight is number is a symbol nine, uh, but put all the numbers together, then put all the letters together, and then probably put, oh, this is gonna hurt my brain so much. So I'm gonna warn you guys right away about this. Look, we have, I call these like the corners, like the corner triangles. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Literally all four corners are symbol options. So um, I will probably put all of those next to each other. <laughs> And my recommendation, when we have symbols that are so similar to one another, even things like we have two dots here, but three dots here, we have these three triangles, but then the same shape, but with circles. My recommendation to you is to make sure that if you've kitted up into storage containers and you're working on your canvas, a big canvas like this, you're most likely going to be turning different directions to work on. Make sure that your container is oriented the same way as the canvas. So if you're working on your canvas upside down and you get to one of these symbols with a black triangle <laughs> pointing to one of the corners, 
pull out that container and make sure it's oriented again if it's if you're working on a canvas upside down because you're maybe at the top or something um flip the container upside down and make sure it matches <laughs> you know sometimes i'll literally pour it into the tray pour the color into the tray and then set the container next to the section i'm working on so i know that i have the correct symbol so that is something i really want to make sure you guys are aware of and you know to watch out for when you're working on this kit now these are all pre-cut for you so that's going to make kitting up go really quickly which i'm about to do once i finish this unboxing i am kidding up this kit i am very excited to see it come together so that's our sticker sheet we do have a book of step-by-step -step instructions for how to diamond paint. Uh, there's also, there's that discount code there and other tips and tricks and whatnot. Um, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and looking to make your first purchase, I do have a discount code below you're welcome to use uh, that will save you 20% off of your first purchase. Uh, it's just my name, Katie, and uh, the number 20, and you're welcome to use that. I may make a small commission. Please don't feel obligated. There are discount codes virtually everywhere. <laughs> so I just say, just don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. Okay. So we're going to look at the canvas first and we'll get to the colors. So here's what I want to do because I don't want to reveal the entire canvas is rendering because I'm afraid that we'll be able to make out more of the image and ruin some of the mystery. Um, so I'm just going to try to show it to you in really small sections here, but I want you to know, spoiler warning, we are going to see some of the sections of this canvas so just be aware of that <laughs> i'm also going to make sure when i unroll this that i have covered up the name of this piece which is on the bottom corner so uh, give me just a second i'll get us situated to take a look okay so we are here at the top of the canvas i'm going to take you on a quick tour of the different elements of the canvas so here's to do what makes you sparkle diamond art club we have a legend, oops, sorry there, uh, a legend over at the top left, and we have the same legend, I'm going out of my way not to show the whole thing at once, we have the same legend over here on the bottom right. Um, we have here at the bottom, again, I've taped over the name, so no spoilers, all the information about the kit itself. It's been legally licensed from Josephine Wall, so even though it's a mystery image, Josephine Wall has still licensed this piece through artlicensing.com, it looks like, and is being compensated for the use of her artwork. Here's info about Diamond Art Club's social media platforms. Be sure to follow there for previews for new releases and whatnot. And then information about Diamond Art Club's lifetime warranty. Now, take a look here at the canvas. Again, we're just looking at a small section here, but you can see, again, this is all black and white. This is just going to be an entirely different kind of project to tackle. I'm going to show you again, little bits of the canvas. You might be able to make out some details. I'm going to gently remind you and request, please don't put, <laughs> if you're noticing specific things, please don't put your guesses or anything like that in the description. We want to keep this a mystery. There are parts of this canvas I do know what the image is. There are parts of this canvas that I'm afraid will really kind of more obviously tell you what this is. And so I'm being very cautious um, just because, again, I feel like you can kind of see, but I don't know. <laughs> then again, I'm looking at it through the camera and even knowing what the image is, I'm like, huh, what is happening here? All I can tell you is that this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, there you go. You're going to get just a little look there. Again, uh, looking at the, the symbol clarity is very clear. Um, and, but you know what? Like I said, just working on all black and white is going to be a really interesting experience. I wonder, I know that I think um, Miss Coffee and Rachel Ray both used release paper to cover up portions of the canvas. Uh, so that it wasn't like quite as overwhelming to work on. I don't know if I will use release paper or just section it off with washi tape like I usually do. If you're not sure what I mean when I'm saying release paper, release paper is, it's not the same as wax paper. This is super, super important actually. Wax paper looks like release paper, but they are different. Wax paper will stick to your canvases will get stuck on the glue. Release paper is just a special kind of like treated paper. Diamond Art Club actually sells it on their website, uh, but you can use it. it. Usually comes in squares like four by six or five by seven inches, um, and you can use that. It's it's opaque. You know you can't see through it, so it covers up the the canvas entirely. 
if that makes sense. Um, and again, I guess that could be useful just if you don't want to be overwhelmed by like, look at all this black and white. You guys, I am ridiculously excited <laughs> about this kit. Okay, so I think we have, we've looked at parts of the canvas itself. Now I want to take a minute and we're going to look through the drills together. So um, let's go ahead and get into these. Oh my gosh. That is a heavy pack of diamonds. Look at those colors. I don't know how much this will give away, really. Um, but Josephine Wall, you know, you could go and take a look and just see, okay, what is Josephine's art style like, if you're not familiar. Um, Diamond Art Club has licensed a number of Josephine Wall's pieces, so that's one way to see. And you can also see how their rendering tends to turn out. But I'm going to look at the diamonds. We'll see the colors. There's a random single, but I have 415 just kind of hanging out. That's some some there. And look, okay, so these are square diamonds. Now they have to be square diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, five bags of 310. Oh my goodness. They have to be square diamonds because the background on the rendering on the canvas is white. If we used round diamonds, that wouldn't cover up all of the white. You'd see white outlines around every single diamond. So um, square diamonds <laughs> is what we'll have to do. You'll want to be really intentional. Sorry, one, two, three, four bags of 832. It's pretty dark blue. That rhymes. Uh, some pretty teals and greens. Um, you'll want to be really intentional about your placement uh, as well. You might see some minor gapping or like little spaces in between the diamonds. And that just has to do with Diamond Art Club's poured glue and how a lot of poured glue works where once you've uncovered the poured glue and placed diamonds on it, um, it starts to cure a bit and set and it tends to shrink, I guess, just a little bit as, as it does that. So <laughs> that's why you may see gapping, a little bit of gapping when you initially place your drills, but hopefully that will disappear shortly. Okay, here we go. First up, number 141. This is our first AB diamond. Yes, even this mystery kit is coming with AB diamonds. Four in total, I believe. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And if you take a look, you'll see that these diamonds have a super sparkly and iridescent coating on the tops. So these diamonds are going to sparkle even more than regular diamonds. They're going to draw your eye to the places that they've been charted. It's just going to sparkle even more. It's going to be so pretty. Now, I am going to avoid pointing out the places the ABs are going to go in this kit. Normally I take you on a little tour of the canvas. So I'm like, okay, this AB is kind of going here. This one goes over here, but I feel like that would ruin some of the mystery. So I'm not going to point those out in this particular video. All right, two bags of 939, green and brown, pretty teal. Ooh, 63 colors. You guys, I think this, this kit might hurt my brain just a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. Love these gorgeous colors. One, two, three, one, two, three bags of 820 blue, two bags of 992 teal, browns, blues, greens. Now, oh, before I talk about that, our second AB 129. Look at that pretty buttery yellow. Oh my goodness. Love it. Um, these are Diamond Art Clubs. They do feel like most of them are Diamond Art Clubs new square drills, which uh, back in the fall, Diamond Art Club did begin manufacturing all of their diamonds in house. Uh, and their new square diamonds, I feel like are really easy to tell the difference between the new and the old because the new ones all have 13 facets cut on top, whereas the old all, well, they have a mix of nine and 13 facets on top. Pretty blues, browns, nice royal purple. It's gonna be some really pretty shading. Now, Josephine Wall, I think it's safe for me to say, Josephine Wall is known for, well, her diamond painting kits anyway, tend to have lots of confetti. And given that this has, what, 63 colors, I am guessing between that and just my brief looks at the canvas that that we're gonna have a bit of confetti in this one. <laughs> confetti is where we have lots of color changes. You're gonna be doing lots of single placing. Um, but it can also make for a really incredible amount of detail. 
Oh my goodness. So many colors. All right. Here's our third AB, number 100. It's this kind of olive green, <clears throat> almost chartreuse AB. That coating on the top is kind of subtle, actually. And then our fourth and final AB, 101. It's almost a Tiffany blue. It's like a blue with a hint of slate gray to it. So pretty. And then some more bold colors to finish us off. So those are all 63 colors that are in this kit. I hope that being able to see the colors that we're looking at, maybe that gives you a sense for like, okay, are these colors something that I want to work with? I think it's going to be incredible. Um, so yes, you guys, this is a mystery kit that is releasing tomorrow, Wednesday, February 9th. Yes, I have a day right night at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And it, I believe that that's just the blanket release time for everyone. Now, super important. This kit is going to be limited edition. Once it sells out, they're not planning to restock it. This is Josephine Wall, um, <laughs> whose artwork is absolutely incredible. And I, if I had to guess, I think this is going to be super popular. So I strongly recommend that if the idea of doing a mystery kit appeals to you at all, if you like Josephine Wall's art style at all, um, don't sleep on this kit. <laughs> Definitely have your alarm set and be ready to snatch it up because the first two mystery kits that released in December did sell out and sold out relatively quickly. And I feel like I've seen a lot of people hunting for them, but they were just a one-time limited edition run. So I am so thrilled that Diamond Art Club is doing another round of mystery kits. Um, at least this one. <laughs> Uh, and I would love to answer any questions that you might have, but I just, a reminder again, you guys, let's all, let's work together <laughs> to keep everything as spoiler free as possible. Keep the comments spoiler free on this video. Uh, be really conscientious about what you're posting on social media, whether that's in Facebook groups or in your own Instagram feed or whatnot. Um, let's try to let people keep this surprise for as long as possible because I think that it's so magical when if you had a kit like this and truly had no idea what the image is and get to see it come to life section by section that is something that I really badly want for as many of us to have as possible so um anyway let me know though if you have any questions whatsoever I would be more than happy to help as much as I can in the confines of again no spoilers uh so yes I will link to Diamond Art Club's VIP group below as well as the Facebook group that I believe was created to be dedicated specifically to mystery kits um but yes again this is from Josephine Wall it is 70 by 89 centimeters square diamonds 63 colors it's a mystery <laughs> so let me know what you guys think are you going to have this on your shopping list for tomorrow morning best of luck to you if you do um set those alarms like i said all right my friends i'm gonna go ahead and let you go if you would like to follow along with my progress on this kit because like i said i'm about to go kit it up right now uh be sure to follow me on instagram and you can subscribe to my channel as well i have instagram linked below in my description uh but you can subscribe as well because i will be sharing spoiler free <laughs> progress and whatnot here on my channel as well. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. A huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over to share, uh, for me to share with all of you. And thank you, Diamond Art Club, for doing another round of mystery kits. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.